What's up Aries? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of July. This is for my Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. And if you're new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I've put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, second half of July. Any love messages for my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second half of July. Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Wands in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, King of Cups in the reverse. Aries dropping some kind of burden around a situation where you feel like the love is lost or someone has closed their heart off to you or you're closing your heart off to them. Situation where maybe you felt like, you know, you lost yourself a bit. You're the Queen of Wands, Aries, or it's fire sign energy anyway. But I mean, Queen of Wands would be you, but in your not so confident sort of self um, but and it's been a burden for you but you're closing it out you're walking away something that's not serving you and I really like this Aries because what I'm saying is moving away from that opens up your ten of cups you're happily ever after there could be someone coming in through July or someone that you're dealing with already even for some of you that's taking you off the market nine of pentacles so perhaps if you are single or in the process of disconnecting from someone, you're not going to be single for very long is what I'm hearing. So let's have a look at that nine of pentacles in the reverse. Lovers card in the reverse with the eight of pentacles in the upright with the ace of wands. Okay, Aries, and then the eight of wands. Exactly. So what I'm seeing, Aries, is, is that you, you, you're leaving behind a situation where you feel like the love is lost or you felt like it was a bit one sided. Um, and now I think what you've got is a situation coming through very fast and hot. So we've got the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this is a passionate new start for you. A lot of communication coming through, something that's going to move fast. And it could be connected to your work as well, Aries. So this could be someone that you are um, professionally connected to as well or someone that you're meeting through your work. But also what I'm getting, Aries, is you're putting a lot of work into yourself. Eight of Pentacles, it's self-mastery. So I think that there's something that you're leaving behind that's more significant even than this King of Cups, right? There's a lesson that you're integrating around um, your self-confidence, your self-worth, um, and you know situations where maybe you felt like you were giving a lot, not getting the return, um, where you felt you know uh, less less than. Um, Less than yourself, right? Less than is what I'm hearing, okay? So the Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, that's beautiful energy. So this is a lot of passion coming through. But I do see Ten of Cups, so I don't know that it's just a fling, Aries. I actually think that it's, there's potential here to move more towards what you're really looking for for the long term. What are we walking away from? You're cutting someone off, Aries, with the Queen of Swords, um, someone that you could be deciding you want to have a conversation with or you, you're having words with now as we move through July. Um, it's really just the card also, if that's not really what's happening, if you're not actually going to communicate this, this is about you tapping into your truth and making decisions to walk away from the past or walk away from what's not serving you or not fulfilling for you anymore. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, walk away from the past, Aries. See, can't make it up. So this is like past past energies or maybe a specific person you have memories with. Um, you're kind of deciding that you're done. You want to open yourself up to new, a new path in love, Page of Pentacles. Um, and this is someone coming forward and actually offering this to you, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So a lot of passion coming through. Um, and it's like a, a breath of fresh air is what I'm hearing. What's this Ace of Wands? Nine of Cups, oh my gosh. So Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. So there seems to be some kind of a wish fulfillment coming through for you, Aries, and this is also a lot of fun. So like I said, I, I am getting passion, I'm getting fun, but I've got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups on the table. So this is like a Nine of Cups that could potentially turn into your Ten of Cups. This could be someone that actually wants to put effort in to building a Ten of Cups with you, that may even want to start a family with you if that's something that you're interested in page of cups 
children. This could be about having having children, pager cuts, but this is also about, like I said, a new path, someone coming forward, making a gesture, making an offer, king of wands, wow, Aries. So we've got a king of wands here and you've been in your queen of wands in the reverse, but this person's a match to you. Um, and it's a person that I feel like is gonna really take the action towards you, show up very passionately, take the lead on the situation. Um, whereas, like I said, I think that you've actually been more in your shadow energy in whatever you're leaving behind. You could have been dealing with someone that you felt was taking a lot from you and not giving or um, very closed off emotionally and that was affecting your self-confidence like you weren't really in your in your light right um let me just get one more on this king of wands one more on the king of wands king of pentacles oh my gosh aries and then there's the four of cups and the ace of swords so aries what i've got is you have um you have someone coming forward taking action towards you. I mean, for some of you Aries, you've got a couple of offers on the table because I've got two kings in the upright and two pages, and you may be needing to decide between which one because four of cups here is about, there might be something on offer that you're feeling you don't want, and there might be something else that's really like your nine of cups. Um, maybe you're choosing between um, something that's fun and exciting, um, but not your long-term and someone else that's very much your long-term. Um, but what I'm getting from most of you is you've got a person that's actually taking proper action to offer you something stable regardless. Okay. There's a King of Pentacles here and the Four of Cups is more so about you taking your time, um, now to look at what's coming through and decide whether or not it's going to fulfill your wishes. Now, I think something there is going to fulfill your wishes, but I think that you've had to learn your self-worth, as I said, because the Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. It's kind of like a clarity coming through for you as well. So um, not only are these opportunities coming through, but also there's that kind of aha moment that maybe what you have done in the past was sort of reflecting more so on where you were and maybe your lack of self-confidence. Okay. Uh, the Ace of Swords. I mean, this could also be a conversation, you know, with this, these new opportunities or this opportunity coming through for something really committed and stable and exciting. You could be feeling like you need to have that conversation with a person because I did say some of you are going to be deciding you want to speak a truth or cut someone off. This might be the contrast for you, Aries. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but we've got King of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Cups. So amidst all of this, you, you could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. There could be um, fire or earth sign energy around you. Um, tell me about this Ace of Swords. Two of Swords in the reverse. You're coming unstuck. And like I said, you're also getting a clarity. You know, Two of Swords is when the blindfold has been on and you're getting some kind of clarity. Now, you know, Ace of Swords is your own power and your own truth. So you're coming into this sense of what's my truth um, around what do I desire? What's going to fulfill me? Um, maybe I've been investing my energy into something that's not, not really um, at my level or not really going to meet me where I want to be, if that makes sense, because I've got a death card here. So this is coming unstuck. It's also a personal transformation. So there's endings happening now um, in July for new beginnings. I mean, the North Node's moving into Aries. So you could be really feeling this kind of push to move more towards what's destined for you, what's right for you, okay? Um, a little bit more on that Ace of Swords. Yep, Page of Wands. This is also about new perspectives. So lots of pages, guys. I think that there's probably more than one option around you um, in July, but definitely um, a new direction. So this is a new personal direction, Page of Wands. A new... Um, self-understanding, but also a new path in love. Okay. So page of wands, a lot of flirtation, a lot of excitement, um, but also a new perspective around where you've been lacking self-confidence because the strength card is in the reverse. You could have been, um, dealing with a situation or situations here in the past that were very ego driven. And, um, you know, I don't just say that blaming the other person, Ari, sorry, but like, you know, I feel like they were appealing to your shadow side. So there could have been, you know, some old patterns that you kept repeating um, that were more to do with, like I said, your lack of self-worth, your self-confidence that's really connected to your egoic like fears. Um, and so 
that's shifting now for you. We've got Scorpio energy with the death card and Leo energy with the strength card. As I said, it's shifting for you. The moon card is in the reverse. So there's a revelation. That's your shadow energy, but it's all becoming very clear to you about maybe where you've been holding yourself back or keeping yourself stuck due to your own blocks um, around, you know, like I said, about your personal value or wounding that you have, you know, the moon card is our own like childhood stuff and the six of cups has come up. So this could be family issues that have played into your relationship dynamics. There also could be a clarity or an understanding around what you're leaving behind. As I said, if there's a specific person, the moon card in the reverse can be a revelation. You could be making a discovery about that. You've got a lot of activity going on though, Aries. So I think that that might be something that's happening in tandem with a lot of energy coming towards you and a lot of opportunity and, and offers, right? Um, but I feel like what that's doing is it's giving you the strength to walk away. So maybe you're discovering something or having a conversation, oops, having a conversation with someone and something's coming to light, but it's allowing you to say, I'm done, I'm walking away. Look, Knight of Wands. So you could have been on and off with a person or felt like there was a lot of hot and cold or in and out. Um, and so I think like you're stepping into your power. Okay, Aries. Um, yeah, that's a big breakthrough moment with the Ace of Swords. And so I, I really see for Aries, for those of you that are open to a long-term relationship now, Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. So someone wants to take you off the market. Okay. Um, let me get a little bit on maybe what you are leaving behind here. Okay, Eight of Cups. What are you leaving behind? What's Aries cutting away? The situation Aries is cutting away now. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone that um, you felt very left out in the cold by. Two of Pentacles, someone that you felt was juggling their options or back and forth on you. See, there's that King of Cups and we've got the King of Cups in the reverse. So I told you that it's, it's this King of Cups that you're leaving behind. Um, someone that you felt very connected to emotionally, um, but like I said, it's like almost this person didn't make themselves 100% available to you. Um, you feel like the love is lost or that it was one-sided. Um, they weren't very open or they were, like I said, maybe they were juggling a lot, couldn't prioritize you. Moon, someone that kept a lot hidden or you felt like um, things were very unclear, very murky, um, but also reflecting your shadow side, as I said, Aries, right? Um, there we go, we've got the High Priestess, so it could be Pisces as well. I think I said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but strong Pisces energy. The High Priestess is silent. Some of you are in silence right now with this person. Maybe you're feeling compelled to say something or there's going to be a conversation, breaking the silence. The High Priestess is also your intuition. So I feel maybe your intuition was telling you um, that this wasn't sort of appealing to you at your highest level. It was more so reflecting your shadow stuff. So. There could have been a, a lesson wrapped up in this um, and a lesson wrapped up in this with the five of cups um, teaching you something about what you need to release within yourself that keeps leading to disappointment. Um, and I think that there's a sense of regret and loss, but you're letting go of that. Um, tell me about this king of cups. The justice card, something here that felt very unfair or out of balance with the ace of swords in the reverse, a lack of honesty, a lack of clarity, so even if it's straight up, if it's not straight up dishonesty, it's just this person sort of, you just felt like you were left in the dark or you weren't given all the information or this person wasn't honest with you maybe about their true feelings. They kind of maybe were back and forth. Um, I've got the strength card in the reverse as well. So maybe there's a bit of mirroring going on. As I said to you, I think that this person and you, maybe there was a connection, but from that lower aspect of things, I do feel that this person, there, there are true feelings, but they were kind of not coming to the table. They weren't giving you something balanced or fair. I mean, some of you, you're dealing with a person where there's like marriage, divorce or legalities. They're juggling a lot. Um, there's financial aspects at play, but also a lot of fears with the moon card that keeps a wall between you and this person. Now, for some of you, as I said, there's a breaking of silence and there's the moon card in the reverse, like something's coming to light and a conversation. So we're going from the Ace of Swords in the reverse to the Ace of Swords in the upright, um, but it's gonna allow you to get over the pain, okay? To move forward, I think in a better direction. Maybe this person wants to make something right with you, but I don't see you going back to this Aries. I just feel like you're 
moving forward onto something new new c6 of swords in the reverse this could be like the return or you, you know you and this person you haven't completely let each other go but then i've got a two of cups in the reverse so it's like there is a soul connection here aries but it's feeling a little bit one-sided okay um like as in for the effort but six of wands so this person wants some um, maybe your attention they still kind of want a victory with you but then i've got that knight of wands in the reverse so this is that kind of energy of like i said a bit stop start they're not coming across as so stable and what i've got for you aries over on this side is i've got a king of pentacles so um I feel someone wants to give you something very stable, very grounded, very committed. Um, and then we've got a death card here. So the death card is about, you know, closure, completion, endings. I mean, maybe they want to just clarify something with you or there's going to be a sense of a closing this out um, through a revelation or a conversation. Um, and maybe this person also needs to end something on their end so that they're not in this two of pentacles juggling kind of responsibilities or options for some of you or, um, or to give you something more balanced. I mean, justice and two of pentacles is about balance. So um, Aries, something, something new and exciting is around you or a number of situations, but someone wants to commit to you, but I don't feel like it's right now, this person. And um, things can shift and change, guys. It's not like I'm telling you that will never happen, but it looks like this person is still maybe a bit in their shadow. And I don't think that you're so bothered by it because the Ten of Swords in the reverse, it's like you're getting over the, the pain or the disappointment. I think you're realizing that they need to sort of rise to your level. Okay, so I'm going to get an Amira's Oracle for you. Yeah, limited potential, withholding. So it's like they were withholding a lot from you. Karma, toxic story, uh, brunette, female. Mm. Maybe you're dealing with someone that also has someone else in the mix, as I said, because I just saw someone, um, or that's you, brunette female, for some of you. They're not gender specific, guys, but intense, focused. Um, maybe it felt like a very intense connection, but then it wasn't leading to much balance or fulfillment. Career. You're also dealing potentially with a person that is juggling a lot career-wise, so they don't have that much maybe to offer you right now. Um, but I think it's also masking the fact that they have a lot of fears um, and blocks, that moon card, the shadow. Um, yeah, but I think I said to you, Aries, that you might be meeting someone through your career. So that could be where this opportunity is coming through for you for love now. Let's see. New, what did I say, guys? New love. And then I've got work. So a lot of you, it could be coming through your work or work network, people you're meeting through work, um, or you're meeting someone that's just like very professional, but not in a way where they don't have the time because this is the king of pentacles. So you could be meeting someone that's very, they've got their act together. Um, they're doing very well career-wise. Oh, twin flame. Okay, guys, I don't do the... I believe in twin flames and all of that, but I'm not going to go into it and um, forget the label. This says spiritual alignment, effortless. So there's someone that's going to come through that's reflecting where you are now. As I said to you, it's like you were dealing with someone, you know, the justice card is about karma. And I did mention karma, karmic lessons or karmic toxic story before. Because you were in your lower energy, you had a mirror there that was meeting you there and now you have another situation that's in spiritual alignment for you right now because you've done work on yourself you understand courting man professional male dating okay whining dining romance and then we've got spiritual growth which is what i was just explaining learning expanding the soul with dating queen opportunities dates abundance and mature man Again, doesn't have to be a man, but mature in age or older. So some of you, yes, older is a king of pentacles, but if not, someone very mature, very stable kind of an energy and could be someone, like I said, doing very well for themselves. I'm not saying that it has to be that to be happy, but I'm just telling you that's sort of that king of pentacles energy. And then we've got that wallflower, limited potential withholding, with true gem for you for some of you Aries you're you know you're having to learn to open up again um 
you know, you're doing the lessons and you're integrating with yourself, but you've got maybe a bit of a wall up because you've been dealing with people or a person that has their wall up. Um, so that could also be, this could be moving quite quickly towards you. Um, so you'll have to decide if you want to go for it, but it seems to be that there's someone that's of real quality and sees you as quality. And um, maybe that's going to, you know, true gem. I mean, that can refer to like a ring. So for some of you, that's going to, I said the 10 of cups, it can turn into your happily ever after, settling down, all that sort of stuff. But on a lighter sense, guys, it's really about quality. So a quality connection that's serving you versus something that's not serving you. Okay, Aries, well, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.